So this is about where I would stand right before I kick in the door. But today I'm going to invite you into my home gracefully. And uh, a chance to say goodbye to a place where we've had a lot of fun and, and been able to grow together and independently of each other. And, uh, you know, it's really become the family room of Fragcom. Just had a, a, a brilliant old time here. But I just wanted to take an opportunity to say goodbye to this place that's been really good to me. And uh, hopefully it'll be just as good to the new tenants. And we'll do a last weather check here on this New Year's Eve's day. And the sun is just starting to bust out. It was really gray and, and dreary just a little while ago. Just like it looks like over there. But here's the view. Here's the weather in Mississauga. It's about 30 kilometers outside of Toronto. And I'm going to definitely miss this view. I've spent hundreds of hours out on this veranda with a good book, coffee, meditating, absorbing nature, absorbing the sun, just connecting, listening to the birds and the squirrels and chipmunks and all kinds of critters. I missed this place, really enjoyed it. But let's go inside and I'm gonna take a moment just to say thanks and goodbye and, and all that sort of thing. So it was a really good 27 months that I've spent here. I really got to connect with myself on the deepest level ever in my life and really do a lot of uh, self introspection and self discovery and, and that kind of thing and heal, heal old traumas and triggers and, and old wounds things that would light me up, fire me up. But um, it was great, it was a great process, very painful. I'll remind you, self-discovery can be a very painful process, but a very rewarding one at the same time. And I wouldn't trade this process for anything in the world, which has opened a lot of doors for me and, and kind of cleared the path uh, for this journey that I'm going into. And I look forward to the next chapters of my life. I'm very, very excited for what's in store for me. And I'm excited for what's in store for all of you. Um, so yeah, you know, a lot of things on the horizon for me. Uh, 2022 will be very different. I, I assure you that for myself, uh, a lot of things coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to becoming uncomfortable. You know, that's one thing that's become a goal of mine is to get to get uncomfortable, go into things that make me uncomfortable and, and, and see where that takes you. Um, one of the biggest lessons I've learned you know, is, is to open my heart where it's been closed and sealed off for so many years. And uh, to appreciate, you know, to appreciate people on a different level and to give love and to receive it in the same way. And, and everybody wants to be noticed, everybody wants to be recognized and, and to give them that. Give them that recognition and see, see how that lights them up and puts a smile on their face. But I want to quickly thank everybody for um, the congratulations on 10K subs. I had a bunch of people message me and, and say quick congratulations. So thank you very much for that recognition. It's always nice to be recognized, but um, for me, numbers don't really mean a whole lot. I'm not a numbers guy, I, you know, 10K, 10 million subs, you know, it's, it's nice, but it's not something that I'm after. I, the, it's not my definition of a success, getting famous or, or getting rich is not my definition of success, although it's nice and it's helpful and it, and it could do things um, otherwise I wouldn't have the ability to do, but for me, success is just to continue to create and to create uh, from my own vision, from, from, from a way to express myself that I know how and without alter it, altering that expression, without dumbing it down, um, just really express myself from a deeper, deeper place. That's, that's all I want to do is, is continue sharing my things, sharing, you know, YouTube content, creating perfumes. That's, that's a big goal of mine. That's something I, I really look forward to and, and to do so 
from a level that I connect with, and, and that's what I consider success, is just create instead of uh, the loser mentality that I've had and, and I see so many others have and, and tearing other people down and, and the judgment of them because their ideologies, their beliefs, their philosophies are very different. Um, one thing that I've learned is we are all different and it's okay and it's okay to be different and I accept that. I'm now able to accept that where my, my ego brain wasn't, it was feeble and insecure and it wasn't able to accept that so much before. So, you know, if somebody wants, if somebody's getting a free bottle, it's not, it's no longer <laughs> boo hoo, we got a free bottle. I don't care. That's wonderful for them. That's what they've created for themselves. And that's great. That is their beliefs and they're allowed to have their beliefs just as well as I'm allowed to have mine. I cannot give myself the freedom to believe somebody and take, take another person's freedom away in the same vein. So gotten a free bottle, you've earned it. You know, you've gotten a free bottle for a reason. Um, you want to post top 10 videos by all means post top 1000 videos. You want to do goofy thumbnails by all means do it. That is your right. And I, it doesn't affect me and it doesn't, you know, if I don't like it, I just turn it off. I don't need to sit there and watch it and, uh, and, and express myself in a way that tears other people down because, uh, it doesn't feel good being tear down. I definitely know what that feels like as well. So. It's just, you know, as humans, it's time to grow. It's time to stop crying. It's, it's time to, to shed that loser mentality. And um, my message really is, instead of tearing people down, if you love perfume as much as you say, create something for yourself. You know, take the time. Express yourself. Make yourself vulnerable. Get uncomfortable and create whatever it is. Start your perfume brand, start your YouTube channel, start your decanting business, doesn't matter. Do something, do something creative. I can't believe it, It me, Eugenius, it takes Eugenius to tell you all this. Here in 2022, we're all ripping each other apart. Get over it, do something that you love, find something, find a spark, that spark inside, that, that connection to your heart, find something that you're emotionally connected to that listen to that inner voice, whatever it is, and work from there, even if it makes you uncomfortable. Because if you have something to say, you have something to do, you have something to express, somebody's going to be interested. Somebody's going to listen to you. Not everybody's going to love it, but that's okay. That's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Just create. That's my message. Human beings were born to create everything here, everything in existence came from creation, came from our ability, our God-given ability to create. That's what we're here for. Anyway, as I cleaned out this place, as I got it ready for the next tenants, kind of, you know, put everything away, cleaned up, dusted off, cleaned behind the stoves, the appliances, I found one last thing. And it's my message, you know, the message from the universe. The universe is always sending us a message. It's always telling us, you know, what's next in store and uh, you gotta listen to the universe, you know, put your distractions away, spend a moment with the universe, connect, connect with reality and this is the message that the universe has left for me. The very last thing that I found. Anyway, thank you so much. I do appreciate you um, and that's it really. I just wanted to come on really quickly Say goodbye, say hello, looking forward to the next chapter of my life, and we'll see you all soon. Scent of the day, Shalimar, um, the flanker, the vanilla, whatever it's called, plantofolia or something. Drop your scent of the day in the comments. We'll see you soon.